What's up YouTube, it's Louis here, hope you're well. We're looking at VeChain today on the daily time frame. We can see this head and shoulders pattern over here and that has been validated a good while ago and um, because of the FTX capitulation right here. And so this has validated a target down to 1.4 cent. We do have some further uh, confluence over here in this area with a 1.618 target down at the 1.44 uh, region, 1.44 cent. Uh, if this does not serve as a, a long-term bottom, again, what we need to see at that price point once we get down to the 1618 is a reclaim of this one fib level where we are, uh, where we were once finding support and accumulating for five months over here. You'd need to flip this area back into support. So if we do continue lower down to here, we need to see us slowly climbing back through these levels. But unfortunately, guys, what I would say is that because we found some support over here, expect there to be resistance. And to be honest, what should happen after you hit the 1618 and bounce towards this level is just a rejection because we're in this downtrend. And uh, the expectation is while we're in a downtrend, any push up is a bull trap. So we just need to expect, okay, we're coming back up into this resistance and we'll get rejected. There are chances to form a higher low or a double bottom, but because we're in this longer term downtrend, it's just continuation to these next targets. And we could actually be seeing sub one cent V chain. That would be an absolutely uh, incredible buy. I did a once see sub one, uh, one cent V chain back in 2019. So luckily enough for me, uh, yeah, I did manage to see that and yeah, got in about one cent. Yeah, back in 2019, I think it was. And of course, I was here the whole way through up until 28 cent. <laughs> but yeah, looking at uh, today, if we zoom in, we were last talking about this descending triangle, which we saw on the lower time frames. I think it was the four hour time frame. We posted about it on Twitter as well. Make sure you're following me there. If you can also contact me there for a discount on my course or mentorship. I only got two slots on my mentorship at the moment and I'm doing a heavy discount on it for anyone that wants to have my one to one help and yeah, trade with me and yeah, get all the strategies down. Basically, you also get the course included and the chat in the in the price but yeah we had this descending triangle it looks like we almost hit the target that's uh, up to you if you want to front run the market when you're almost getting to the take profit you can close or you would have had to wait for the take profit it wouldn't have come in this in this uh, uh scenario but yeah the target was from the top over there from the the resistance to the neckline put it on the breakdown and then yeah what they want is broken the neckline with the daily candle close this is your trade if you close back above this, then of course we're invalidating it. So we climb back in, but again, this is a bearish pattern. So eventually you should actually fall back under. So we've done that over here and we're coming up again. It looks like it's done two fake outs. You've got some potential ascending triangle over here. So this would be a small short term bullish uh, pattern and you'd need to wait for us to take out 1.654 cent. Without that, this trade is not happening. So. This would just be your impulse up towards the 55. I wouldn't even take it to where it's saying you just wait for it to close above the 20 and that wick and you're just going towards the 55 wherever that lands. However, guys, I must warn you, it's a bull trap, isn't it? It's a trap. So, yeah, there could be that uh, ascending triangle, which is a double bottom or an inverse head and shoulders here. We just gave the target, which would be the 55 daily as a 55 four hour uh, EMA. So that would be your, your target if you were to take this. However, yeah, you need to wait for a four hour close above this price point. If you can see on the right. So yeah, I'll get rid of this now. But I just believe as long as we're below this price and the 20 EMA, we're just going to run into it as resistance to eventually continue lower. You could be forming the neckline of a descending triangle over here. Can you see that? So we can't just get a um, yeah, we can't keep a bias, guys. This can set this setup can go both ways. So instead of keeping a bias, oh, this is only a double bottom and uh, inverse head and shoulders. This is only bullish. Why don't you just wait for us to take out that point? Because you would be above the 20 and you would be above this high over here. So you would have made a higher high, higher low, higher than this low and then a high higher high so we want to go above this point over here and the 20 ema for us to signal a push towards the 55 that is pretty much it for today's update however again descending triangle over here beware if you lose this area of support we're heading back to these lows and continuing to our target down at 1.4 cent which again i do believe we're heading to, towards if we are going up to the 55 
we can see key support, which I just explained when we zoomed out on the daily time frame. Even if we pump up to the 1.272, we have some support that is going to be tested as resistance. Luckily enough, the 55 yeah, four hour EMAs that are signaling this is a rejection point. This is what should keep us in our downtrend. Even if we get above the 20, we should get knocked down by the 55 to continue to our targets lower. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you do want to take action on these crazy discounts, they're going to last until the end of this year. And yeah, message me on my Twitter. The link is underneath this video. Don't forget to try and help me get to 50 likes on this video. Of course, share it and comment and turn the notification bell on for the next updates. Peace.